A house in Rodanthe on the Outer Banks collapsed overnight. According to the Chickamacomico Banks Fire and Rescue Team, this is just south of the Rodanthe Pier. Tonight, your side's Andy Fox is actually live there in Rodanthe, joining us with Adam Bittman with more. Andy? Yeah, we will talk to Adam in just a second, but let me just give you a lay of the land. This is a septic system right here. That's for this house. The one down there is for the house that collapsed, and you can see it down there. Now, here's what all this means. These, are, these houses are condemned. So when it gets to this point where the septic system is exposed, that puts these houses in a completely different category. But right now, you can see all the debris. This is the Rodanthe Pier, and on the other side of the pier, a lot of debris from this house. This is Adam Bittman, who is a Rodanthe resident. You got out here real early. Yeah, I was out here this morning and I heard from one of the ladies who lives in a house just next door. We had a tough line of storms about four in the morning last night and she heard a loud crack and the whole house fell down in there. I'm going to continue asking you questions and he's going to continue getting the video, Paul, right there. Tell me, when you came out here, it was scattered everywhere. Huh? Oh yeah, it's a whole house, all of its contents, all of the insides, the propane, the Every bit that was inside of a fully furnished house scattered across. And here's the air conditioning unit here. That's the septic system there for that house, the one here. That's it. I mean, these houses are done when that happens. There's no more beach available to keep these houses operating. Yeah, there's no way to make this safe. Um, what's challenging, though, is that it's obvious that these aren't safe, and there's federal legislation that somehow makes it incentivized so that they stay fully furnished. This house that's next to it, ready to go anytime we get a bad storm, is going to be full of everything a house is. For some insurance reason is what we're always told. I want to say, though, the Park Service has been wonderful about cleaning up. This they've is the been, best we've seen they, ever. They, I'm they, impressed. They've been very fantastic down here and also letting us come right here to the scene so quickly. But you were talking about the insurance. You don't get the claim until the house is demolished. Is that what you were saying? There's a devil's in the detail sort of gridlock on that related to FEMA funds and how do we pay out for disaster areas and it's at the federal level of legislation. So the Park Service here doesn't want to have to be doing this. Local residents don't want it, tourists don't want it, but we're locked up in big money that we don't have anything to do with. It's three stages from anybody we know. Adam, thank you very much and we'll uh, Stick around. We'll get yeah. some more interviews with Adam here. We'll have him later on at four, five, and six. And let me just give you one last shot here. You have debris that is over here next to that septic system down here. That is part of what came down over here. And you can see that the cottage is gone. And you can, if you look down towards the pier, you can see guys and and women in yellow vests. They're the cleanup crew and they are also part of the park service that we understand doing a fantastic job to get this cleaned up as quickly as possible and of course you don't want to come down here and swim in the surf at this point at Rodanthe Pier because we got a lot of debris in the water and in that debris are nails and things that can really hurt you so the advisory is to stay out of the water here we are down here on site, and I will have reports coming up at 4, 5, and 6. In Rodanthe, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.